Well, go on, take it out. It's a wonderful prize for so light a task. You'd be, be better able to judge of the lightness of the task, my young friend, after you've seen my menu. Signor Passini is a master of technique. His music is exceedingly difficult. The finer the work, the easier it is to play. Listen to that. The fellow might be the greatest violinist in the world. I am. Such self-esteem does you no credit, my son. Oh, I, I was not bursting, your eminence. I can only hope that my composition will prove worthy of your talent. If it is well constructed, I will play it. It will be enough if you can play the arpeggio variations. Oh. Well? Attractively embellished, but the theme is simple. I am flattered, maestro. And beautifully scored. Play it, and you shall have any instrument in my collection. Fail, and I shall be glad to see the back of your impudence. I will, I will play it. That last phrase disgracefully. But you brought the whole thing to life. We were deeply moved. You'll agree that he's won the violin. But of course, my dear friend, you've achieved the impossible. You have a quality which invites and disarms criticism. It is a quality of genius. But remember, success is a heavy burden to carry. I've known a heavier. Poverty. Ah, poverty is a burden which is shared by many. Success must be carried alone. God bless you, my son. And now, I hope you'll choose some instrument from my collection. Try them all. Choose the one which suits you best. If I may, I'll keep Stradivarius. With this violin, I could talk to the world. By God's will. Oh, look at it, Jeremy. It's wonderful. It's beautiful. Look at that back. Look, see? And the scroll. You can't imagine the mysterious bittersweet quality of its tone. I tell you, Jeremy, with this fiddle, I can't fail. I wish you'd realize that success doesn't necessarily come to those who think they deserve it. Oh, here I'm talking about something sacred, and you start uttering your pompous banalities. You're not in court now, and stop feeding yourself. I tell you, I can't fail. I tell you to wait until after your first concert. Anyway, I enjoy feeding myself. How do you You answer that. A letter for you, Signor. Oh, thank you. Oh, no, no, it's for Signor Paganini. It was brought by a servant in livery. I hope my house is not too humble for you. Oh, on the contrary. Your kindness to us can never be repaid. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. Who's it from? Listen, I've been searching Palmer for my colleague in crime. Then today, Signor Passini told me that you've won his Stradivarius by your incomparable play. I want my friends to see and hear you. Will you play to us next Thursday evening at my mother's house, Jean de Vermont? No mention of payment. It's a nice cheap way of entertaining their friends, isn't it? Oh, Jeremy, you're impossible. Jeremy, don't you understand? I found her. I'm afraid you have. Oh, oh. Servant's entrance. Round at the back. You read? No, no. Let's take it upstairs. No. Allow me. Oh, 
Whatever is this? He's a friend of mine, Mama. Will you follow me, Signor? He's not very presentable. We owe him a great deal. Countess! Signor Paganini is going to play the violin to us, Mama. Ah, now I understand. How do you do? So it was you who made animal noises to help my husband to escape. Signor Paganini is no ordinary violinist, Mama. I remember there was a man in Paris who danced, sang, and turned somersaults while he played the violin. But my mother would never allow me to witness the performance. You must have been very versatile, madam. The Vicomte and Vicomtesse d'Avranche. Please don't be angry. Mama meant nothing. If you go out on the terrace, I'll join you as soon as I can. That must be the fiddler we're in for. As well as a singer. But I should never get away. Would you like something to eat? No, I, I'm too nervous. I'm too excited. Excited? Isn't this just another party for you? Oh, no, it's far more than that. I want my friends to hear your music. Well, I don't like your friend. But they're powerful and influential. That's why you must be a success tonight. Oh, I shall be a success, never fear. I shall play for you, not for them. Why are you doing all this for me? Because you once rendered us a very great service. I was paid for that. Only in part. What's she doing here? Who? The singer. How did you find her? I have no idea. Do you know her? Yeah. The Yankee. 